Okay, great 12s, welcome to our last video in our September cat prep, um, you know, final preparation, going through the, the cat prep paper that you did now in September. So congratulations to all of those who've been following the videos. I know by now you've really upped your game in terms of what you've learned, what you've been able to apply as you prepare for finals using um, these videos. Okay, so we're going to go into question number six, which is general. I usually tell people start with the last question first because it's usually the easiest. And let's see why. So I'm going to open six digital technology. Um, that particular document, that's the one they want us to open. Okay, there we go. What do they need us to do? Well, the first thing they want us to do is locate the two words South Africa in the first paragraph. There we have South Africa. I'm just going to highlight it so that I know I've done that. And what do they want us to do? Use a word processing feature to ensure that the two words remain together even if they are pushed to the next line. Now we do that with an end dash. So how do we apply the end dash? Well, we're going to use replace. And we're going to say, what do we want to find? Well, we want to find the word South Africa. And then we want to replace it with what? So you don't see any end dash option here. We got to go to more. We have to go into special. And then choose N dash. Now, it looks like that, so it's, it, it's weird. But what that is, is, that is what sits in between the words. So now I'm going to type in South, and I'm going to type in Africa. And all I'm going to do is say replace all. Say yes. Okay. You'll see my document moved up slightly. And there you can see, there's my in dash, there's my in dash, there's my in dash. There it is, there it is, done. Okay, so I've got that sorted. 6.2, find the paragraph that's bordered and filled with an orange fill on the first page. There it is. Move it and paste it at the end of the document without keeping the current formatted. That's fairly simple. So we're going to highlight this. We're going to right click on it. Cut. Scroll down to the end of our document. We're going to paste it in here, but look at what we need to do. When I right click, please don't use this option. You'll see what happens. They only want us to paste the text, not the formatting. If we look at the next one, you can use that. You can use picture. No, we can't use that. Last one, keep text only. So please, with your paste options, use the last one. Click in there and you've done it without all that format. In other words, without the border, you know, and those things. Right. Let's look at 6.3. So 6.3 says to us now, the author of the document has made two changes, two changes in the document. Find the two changes and accept them. So all we need to do, grade 12, is go up to review, track changes, click on track changes, and it's going to show us when we scroll through the document, ah, there we go, there are the two changes. The only thing we do is we go up to changes, click accept, accept and move to next, accept and move to next and accept and move to next. There we are, there it's telling us we've now got no more changes that need to be done. We click OK and that is finished. And the last thing, they want us to open six compare. So I just want to close this document. I'm going to save the changes and then we're going to open six compare. Okay, and what they want us to do here is to compare six compare to six compare one. Take a screenshot of it and paste it into six compare. Okay, I know I'm saying that a lot, but that's what's in the question. So we've got six compare. We need to go to review, over to compare, click on the down arrow and say compare. Then it's going to come up with a dialog box. Please, you need to indicate, uh, you can go to browse and, and you're going to go to your data folder and click on six compare because they want you to compare oh sorry i'm saying this a lot they want you to compare six compare with six compare one we go to our revised document which is six compared one click on browse go to six compare one and click open so there i've got six compare and six compare one okay i know i'm saying compare a lot but it's, it's fine great job don't get confused click okay click okay there we have it in front of us and all we're going to do is Press print screen on our keyboard to make a screenshot of it. We're going to go to our six compare document, go right to the end, and we're going to right click in here. Or we can just use the control V shortcut. And there is our screenshot. That is it, grade 12s. That is it for our September cat prac paper. This is question six. We've done it. And congratulations to all of you that have followed the videos. 
you've gone through everything you've got the data files you've got the memo you've got the videos so this is going to be a fantastic resource for you to prepare for your finals thank you so much for joining me and i wish you all of the best as you continue on this cat journey